Hello, my name is Carl Storms and I will be your host today on this quick video about BIM 360 Glue versus Navisworks Manage. Now I've had a lot of people come up to me and ask me, should I use BIM 360 Glue or should I use Navisworks Manage? And they both certainly have their pluses and minuses, but I think what the outcome will be from this video once we're finished is that we don't need to use one or the other, but they're both great together. Now to start, we're going to take a look at some of the features that BIM 360 Glue has that we won't find inside of Navisworks Manage. So I have pulled up a BIM 360 Glue project through the BIM 360 Glue app, and I'm just going to quickly click on my merged models. As this pulls up, you'll see that it pulls up my merged models view, and inside this I have three different models. I have my um, architecture model, my structural model, as well as my MEP model. If I go over into my uh, models, you can see I've got the different versions. I can select mechanical, I can turn off the other ones, so now I only see my mechanical information inside of my view, and I can very easily navigate around and see what, what, I, what I need to do inside of the model. And of course I can turn them all back on again and we have our complete federated model with all of the different versions inside. Anyone that's used uh, Navisworks will find this very intuitive workflow. It's very similar to how Navisworks looks and works. Now we can also have our saved views. So if I click on this, I have a saved view that everybody inside the BIM 360 project has access to, and they can look at it, do markups, or what have you. I also have my markups inside of here. So if I select my markup, it takes me, to, like, me directly to the markup, and I can see it right away. Now, what, what the benefits of doing this inside of a cloud platform like BIM 360 Glue is that we don't have to wait for other people to upload their information. Once people are, have access to the project, they can very simply upload their information to the Glue project, and we all have access it, to it directly. So it's almost like we have multi-user interface when we're working with Glue, whereas when working inside of Navisworks, it's one person that works inside of that file inside of Glue, we can have multiple users. Uh, they can log in on their computer, they can make changes to their native uh, Revit content or Autodesk, Civil 3D or Navisworks, upload it, and then everybody in the project team automatically has access to it and can see what's available. <clears throat> Something else that we can do inside of Glue that we can't do inside of Navisworks is of course we can take a look at it as a mobile interface by opening up the projects on side of our iPad. So let's take a moment to take a look at what the mobile interface looks like. And here we see the model that we have on my iPad. So if I select the model, <coughs> it'll load it up here, and then we have the ability to view our information in the field as it may be. And I can easily navigate around, rotate in, um, zoom around, whatever I need to do inside of that project inside of the field. I can go to my views, I can take a look at my shared views, I can choose the view, and you can see it on the screen. So now I have access to everything that I need inside of the field on the screen. And even when I'm on the iPad, if I select an element, I can then choose to get some information about it. And it shows me the information about the element on the side. So now I'll see that this is a double glass with panel and all of the information that came through in that original uh, model is visible inside of this one. And I can turn off that element as well by hitting the little eyeball up top and it hides that information. We also have the ability to take a look at any of our markups. So if I select the little markup tool down at the bottom, I can then choose the markup, and we see we have access to the markup that we created inside of the field. We can also make one of our own by adding in some additional information. Wrong, 
Windows done and we have now saved that markup into our project and anybody else that comes in has access to it. So as you can see having the ability to have your BIM 360 glue content mobile is very helpful. So now that we've seen some of the pluses of working with BIM 360 glue, let's take a moment to look at what we can do in Navisworks Manage. Now that we're looking at a Navisworks Manage model, one of the things that we can do inside of Manage that we can't do inside of Glue is we have the ability to do a Timeliner or a 4D schedule model. And what this does is it allows us to take our project schedule as well as our 3D model, combine them, and do a simulation to see what our project is going to look like as it's being built. Now as I'm going through and uh, doing this, you'll see that it starts to create the model and when they're in green it's started, when it goes to its actual color that means it's been completed and it goes through the entire construction process. Well, this is a rather simple model, I think it very well displays the benefits of working with this Timeliner tool. And not only can this be very beneficial during the construction cycle, it's also a very powerful bidding tool early on in the project when you're trying to win the work by showing the owner what you're going to do and how long it will take to complete the process. And now we've completed our Timeliner. One of the nice things that we can do inside of Navisworks that we can't do inside of BIM 360 Glue is search sets when we're doing our clash detection. Yes, we can clash inside of Glue, but we can't do what I'm about to show you here. So if we open up our clash detective, we have the ability to run our clash. Let's say we're going to run steel versus vents. But what I can do is I can select my sets, and I've already created two search sets. So I'm going to have my steel clash against my vents, and I'm going to have a tolerance of 0 0.004. And I'm going to go ahead and run that test, and we see we've created a bunch of clashes. Um, the importance there is because we have these as search sets, what that means is that every time we run this clash again, Navisworks is going to send those search sets out and look for all the steel and all the ventilation. And if something has changed between last week's model and this week's model, it will update that search set and it will make sure that it runs that so that we always have the latest and greatest information. It is one of the most powerful tools that we can find inside of Clash Detective and is only available inside of Navisworks Manage. One of the other things that we can do, and I'll show you down here, is we have the ability to do a clearance clash, which we also cannot do inside of Glue. And what this allows us to do is to have a tolerance instead of a how much something is embedded into an object, the clearance allows us to have a space around it. An example is we put our piping in the model but we forgot to model the insulation around the piping. But we can then do a clash with a clearance of say 2 millimeters or 25 millimeters whatever our insulation might be and that will give us a clash if something is within 25 millimeters of that object over and above if it's actually embedded inside of the object. So another great benefit of working with Navisworks managed to do your clash detection. Now we've quickly switched back to our glue model because speaking of clash detection, I did mention that we can do it inside of glue. One of the unique features that we have in glue that we can't do inside of uh, Navisworks manage, at least we can only do it manually, is group our clashes. So if I go to my architecture versus mechanicals and I run my clashes. You'll see I've got 700 and some odd clashes inside of there. I select my little overview and it tells me all of the information I have about my clashes. I'm going to look at just the mechanical clashes. And now if you look inside here you'll see that I've got a bunch of clashes and we've got these 12, 18, and so if I open this up I now have all of these things that are selected as part of that. So if I hit this and it's going to zoom in, we'll see that this um, floor, in case, is affecting my other element. So if I actually pull this across in here, you'll see that it's got my compound ceiling versus an exhaust vent. And you'll see that there are <clears throat> 18 items that it clashes against. 
So it shows me all the different pieces, and I can go to any of the ones that we want and see all that. <clears throat> so that's a nice thing that Glue does. It puts them all together automatically. Uh, we can group them inside of Navisworks, but it's a manual process. So that's a really nice feature that Glue has. So now that we're back inside of Navisworks Manage, it's time to take a look at how we can use BIM 360 Glue and Navisworks Manage together with the new BIM 360 add-in that comes in with Navisworks. Now this has been available for a few years now, but now it gives us direct access to our BIM 360 Glue projects. So if I select my project and I select where I want it to go, I can then choose which project I want to work with, choose the model that I want to open, I don't want to save change to this, and you'll see that it's going to allow me access directly to that model that I've had been working on and exported into Glue. I now have access to all of that information directly here inside of my Navisworks Manage. So I am now reviewing and looking at my Glue model directly inside of Navisworks Manage. So again, for those that are uh, Navisworks people and that are comfortable with the Navisworks interface, this allows them to take a look at what they're dealing with directly inside of Navisworks. Another benefit of working with uh, BIM 360 Glue and Navisworks together is we have the ability to see our shared views. And as you can see, we've got our little shared view, so I can select and take a look at views that I created inside of BIM 360 Glue. I can also go into whatever I want to do. I can navigate around and I can create a view here inside of Navisworks Manage. I can save that view. First floor 3D Navis. And I can save that and that will be saved into the project and anybody that has access to the BIM 360 Glue project has the ability to take a look at that information in the cloud. So let's take a look at what that looks like inside of Glue. So now that we're back in Glue, let's take a look at our views. We'll see we now have our Navis view as well as our uh, Navis view 3D. I can select that and you'll see the view that we just created inside of Navisworks Manage is now available for all to see inside of BIM 360 Glue. And I think that is where we will wrap up this session. W what I want everyone to take away from this is the fact that BIM 360 Glue is a great product, as is Navisworks Manage, and there really is no need to choose between the two. They work better together. So I hope you've enjoyed this short video talking about BIM 360 Glue and Navisworks Manage. And if you have any follow-up questions, be sure to hit us up on Twitter at Imaginate underscore tech, or head over to www.imaginate.com and take a look at all of our great content. Thanks again for joining.